Hello friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how to debug your program in Visual Studio. Here I will use C program, uh, a program which is written in C language, uh, but uh, if you are using VB, uh, Visual Basic, if you are using C Sharp, you can, um, you can use the same way to debug your code. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to use this ready C program, okay? Because here uh, I'm focusing on how to use, uh, how to debug, uh, the, uh, debug a program. So, uh, I will use uh, ready program. I prepared this before. Now, let's debug it. You see we have main function here and we have custom function F1 here. Uh, and first of all, I'm pressing F1, F10 key on my keyboard. Okay. As you see, as you see, it started from the main. Okay. Then uh, we have uh, menu items here. This is step into, this is step over, and this is step out. And this is uh, for showing next statement. I will come back to this one, okay? First of all, if you click, if you click step into, so compiler will execute your next statement, but it is doing the same thing for step over. What is the difference between step into and step over? If you are calling a function and you click step into, then your compiler will continue to execute your function line by line for you. If you click step over and you call a function, it will execute the function automatically and come back after you call. I mean, after the point you call the function. So let's try it. Now I'm clicking step into. Uh, a message is displayed, so you can check your, your black screen, then you can see the message is displayed. I'm clicking step into. When I click step into, here we called F1, so the compiler came here, okay? You can continue to click step into um, and execute your function, and then when it finishes, it will come back to the caller. And then you will click step into, and finish execution of the program. Okay, let's click F10 again and run the same program by using step over. In the main, it is still executing statements line by line. Here, I'm calling F1, this is our custom function. When I click step over, it called F1, it executed the content of F1 and came back after the, the statement after I called, after uh, the statement I called F1, okay? So now you can check yellow arrow and you can see that uh, we are here, okay? Uh, the compiler executed F, the content of F1, but we didn't see that uh, how it executed line by line. This is the reason of step over. And the other one is stepping out. So let's say that, let's say that uh, you entered into F1 by mistake or you entered F1 and you changed your mind and you want to quit, uh, not to quit, you want to go out from F1. For example, I am dragging and dropping my yellow arrow to here. So as you see, this is, I mean, um, an arrow that uh, shows the next statement, okay, you can click on that, it's this one, and you can drag and drop it and change the uh, execution sequence of your code. So what I did here, I got uh, my sequence back, so the program will be executed from here or from here, so I can change the sequence. Now uh, I want to show you another thing, that's why I moved uh, yellow arrow to here. So here, I click step into, and when I click here, it will enter into function one. I click step into, I click step into, and now I change my mind. I want to finish F1 automatically and go back 
go back uh, to my main function so you can click you can click you see your uh, yellow arrow is here so this means that compiler is here you can click uh, step out and it directly comes here assigns the return value to result and you can click step into step into and you can check if the sum is displayed it is displayed as 50 okay and you can continue uh, to execute your code or if you want to stop at any time you can click this stop debugging and you can directly terminate your program okay and let me tell you another thing uh, we have breakpoints for example you want to run your code uh, automatically and when, when it comes to this point I clicked with my mouse when you when the compiler comes this point you want your program to stop and wait you, you don't need to uh, press f10 key on your keyboard you can directly click uh, play button here and you see it started from here it uh, displayed we are starting from here and it called f1 it initial declared initialized sum and did the same thing for i and when it came uh, to here it way it waits for us because I put breakpoint. If you like, you can put more breakpoints, or if you like, for example, you can uh, click step into and uh, continue to trace your program. Okay, and line by line check uh, what's happening here uh, and check the sequence of statements in your program. And if you want to remove breakpoint, you can click on that and you can remove breakpoint. Okay. And the last thing is, uh, for example, uh, you want to see how your variables are changing. While we are debugging line by line, you can select double click on uh, any variable. Uh, for example, sum, sum, I already included it. So let me clear all okay I double click some I right click here and I say add watch so you can see some here uh, you want to check I as well select I right click select I right click and add watch so I will be displayed here or you can directly click here and you can write your uh, variables for example result okay and press enter so you can also uh, add watch for result uh, but be careful now uh, my um, compiler is in f1 function so result is in main so uh, compiler cannot access result when it is in f1 okay because because of the design of my program so here result seems that uh, undefined okay but when it when the compiler comes to main it will be defined so uh, the result the content of result will be shown in the uh, watch window okay Let's continue. Here at this point, i is 14 and sum is 36. So I'm saying step into and sum will be sum plus i. Sum is 36, i is 14. So it will add both. 36 plus 14 will be 50 and 50 will be assigned to sum. When I click step into, I see that sum value is changed. Okay then step into now i will be increased by one and if it is less than 15 it the compiler will continue to execute loop body otherwise it will terminate the loop so uh, i will be 15 and 15 is not less than 15 so it terminated the loop and now the compiler is at here return sum what is sum 50 step into step into now, return value from F1 is 50, and 50 will be assigned result. As you see, result has meaningless number because it is just declared but not initialized. And here it will get value uh, from F1, from the function, step into, and now result is 50. Because 50 is the return value from F1. And then I click step into, and printf executed and result is displayed on black screen as you see it's 50 okay and then 
uh, you can continue to step into and step into and terminate the program. And you can check the output. This, uh, I hope this helps you to uh, use debug because uh, when we have uh, logical errors, uh, sometimes, uh, not sometimes, for uh, critical issues, uh, debug helps us too much, okay? Or uh, if you want to learn how um, your program is being traced by the compiler uh, line by line, so debug helps you. You can uh, debug your code, you can use watch window to see how variables are changing, how compiler behaves. These are very good uh, things uh, while you are learning uh, a language. And also, uh, as I said, it helps you to find your logical errors. Okay, friends, that's all for today. Hope uh, this helps you. Uh, take care of yourselves and see you soon.